The animated comedy series Chicago Party Ant returns on Netflix for season two. Let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more up and coming content. Diane, AKA the Chicago party ant, is always the life of the party as she helps neighbors and stays true to her mantras. I thoroughly did enjoy that first season of Chicago party ant, so I was looking forward to the second season with Lauren Ash as Diane Dubrowski, AKA the Chicago party ant. We also have John and Ike Barinholtz within here. RuPaul, Bob Odenkirk, Tim Meadows, they all make appearances within here. I love the connection to baseball within this series. I'm a huge fan of baseball. So seeing her love for the Chicago Cubs was awesome to see. Wrigley Field, there even is a player on the team that is in the story, a fictional character that is in the series for a good majority of the first half of the series. Now this series is just fun. I like that they perfectly explore her lifestyle, she, is get, she gets drunk a lot, she's crazy, she's the life of the party. But one thing that separated this second season from that first season is the more depth giving to this character. For example, there's a scene in the beginning where she can't drink at the St. Patrick's Day party because she has to take a breathalyzer test, which does add for some humor within the series, but also explores control and how she realizes that she drinks a lot and she could control her drinking. And if she really, really wanted to stop drinking, she could do that. And so there's moments in here where she learns new things that she's capable of. She explores a new relationship and tries to act normal and it's really hard for her, but she takes it as a challenge. So there's moments where we're adding a lot of depth to Diane. They're fleshing out this character way more than they did in that first season but they are staying true to who she is. She loves her Chicago Cubs. She loves partying. She loves drinking. She loves trying to manipulate people. Everything that she does in that first season, she does in here, and there's just another layer given to this character. There's a lot more of her nephew in here as well, and what he's feeling and what he wants out of life since he did take a leap year. He's exploring new careers and what he actually wants out of life and relationships as well. And that's when the Chicago Cubs player comes into the series. I like that connection to the Cubs and the series as well well the series maintains its humor and there are certain storylines that carry over for the episodes but for the most part there's certain episodes are just kind of one and done storylines involving creating this lotion business with rupaul's character and diane's sister and her husband and they want to have a baby those episodes carry over throughout most of the series but, but most of it's just one and done exploring different parts of her life and how crazy she can get so overall, Chicago Party Ant season two was a lot of fun. I did like the humor in here. It is crazy. It's not as vulgar as other Netflix comedy adult animated series that we've seen. It's just kind of right there in the middle. It's obviously not for kids, but it's not as vulgar as other shows I have seen before. So it's got that nice balance of character development, a story and humor as well. It's just a kind of easy, fun series. There's only eight episodes to get through, but I did appreciate the depth giving to Diane within here. I love Lauren Ash in here. She is so hilarious, embraces that comedy and that crazy lifestyle in here. The voice acting is really good in all of the episodes as well. I was impressed with the talent behind here. So before I give you my score for Chicago Party Ant Season 2 on Netflix, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit the subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Chicago Party Ant Season 2 on Netflix a B-. Thank you guys for checking my review for Chicago Party Ant Season 2 on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What would you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up-and-coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.